it's Wemi again from Tosh Creations and today I'm going to be showing you how I make washcloth lollipops. You're probably thinking, what's that? This is what I mean. So it looks like a lollipop but it's made out of two pieces of washcloths and you know a baby spoon, a plastic baby spoon. If you stick with me I'll show you how I make this novelty item and I'll see you at the end. Bye. So to make our washcloth lollipop like this one we're going to need of course two pieces of washcloth I like to use two different patterns, so one of them spotty, one of them is plain. And we need a, pl a plastic baby spoon. I like to use the long-handled one just because it gives you know, a decent length of a handle. We need some tape. It's better if you use a you know tape dispenser. Don't be like when you <laughs> and uh, scissors. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've got a small elastic band here. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, so let's get started. So what I've already done for one of them, I've already folded it the way that I, we need to have it folded. But I'll just show you with a second washcloth. What I do is I fold it lengthways three times just to get the desired width that I like. But of course, it's down to how thick you want it to be. It's down to how wide your washcloth is. And then what I do is I place them on top of each other. But I stagger the placement so it's not fully, they're not fully covering each other. Let me see if I turn it this way, can you see better? Can you see there's like a slight gap at the end and this one overhangs a bit here. That's what I mean by staggering them. I'll just turn it this way just because it makes it easier to roll. And then th that's really what we do next. The next thing we do is we just roll. So the longer piece here, I roll that one first by itself and then I pick up the cloth that's underneath and then I roll and once again we keep a tight grip if it starts to buckle if any of the washcloth starts to buckle I just use my other hand to fold it down because we want to keep it neat we don't want any excess clothing showing up anywhere and that's it we keep rolling until we get to the end can you see how that looks it's a little bit like a Swiss roll really quite simple to do to secure it you could use a glue dot i guess or cellar tape i prefer to use this small elastic bands because you can't really tell that they're there but it's keeping everything together and then i take my spoon in a coordinating color i place my lollipop roll on top of it to secure it i turn it upside down and that's where the tape comes in. So I've already cut pieces of tape to use. See the kind of length that we have there. And then I just simply tape the spoon to the back of the lollipop roll like so. I take another piece of tape and go the other way just to secure it. There we have it. We've made a washcloth lollipop. Now normally i would wrap this so you could wrap it in like cellophane a piece of cellophane or a piece of tool or any kind of other material that you want something that won't obscure you know the prettiness of the lollipop and so when when you wrap it and you tie it up this kind of excess clothing that you can see here it would all be tied up when you put your cellophane over it but there you go washcloth lollipop let me turn it that way so you can see it better so thank you for sticking with me to the end and i hope you've enjoyed what you've learned if you'd like to know more if you'd like to learn all my techniques all the secrets and tips in making your own baby boy care learn other techniques i would love to hear from you i'd love to help you out my website is www.toshcreations.com you can just fill in a contact form there or you can send me an email at hello at toshcreations .co.uk or you can leave a comment below this video beneath this video um i run one-to-one -one classes where i teach people how to make baby bouquets so we cover way more than sock boards i basically teach you everything how you can use different kinds of baby clothing to make different kinds of flower buds how you can arrange the bouquet how you can decorate it how you gift wrap it you get to ask me all your questions um there are more details in the link below on the website and i'll see you next time